So my name is Greg Gambetta, and I'm a professor of viticulture at Bordeaux Sciences Agro and ISVV Bordeaux. So this study was carried out in collaboration with a colleague of mine, his name is Con Curderall, who's a researcher at the University of California at Davis, and Con runs the experimental station in Napa Valley, where they do a lot of experimentation with field-grown grapevines. And the idea of this study actually came from Khan originally, who sent me a data set and just said, basically with a lot of climate data from Napa, and was like, oh my god, Napa is getting really, really hot. This, this, is, this is kind of where the, the idea came from. And from there, you know, Khan and I started examining the temperature changes between Napa, of course I'm working in Bordeaux, so I was interested in looking at Bordeaux, and, and immediately we saw that, well, of course it's warming, everyone knows this, but that at certain points in time, over the history of both regions, that warming has, has changed extremely fast. And so this is what really got us going on thinking about this article. Uh, so uh, as temperature gets warmer, typically f ripening and fruit quality get better up until a point. And this is, this is kind of the question at hand here is, if things get more and more you know, ripe, the, the seasons are easier, there's less disease pressure, right up until a point where it gets too hot and then the fruit quality can really decline. And so what we're interested in trying to determine is how, what's that threshold? What is the temperature above which everything kind of goes bad? So in this work, one of the things we were trying to identify were what are the thresholds above which the fruit quality goes, goes down? And classically, growers assess sugar level to determine, hey, this is when we should harvest the grapes. The grapes are ideally ripe right now. And by relating the sugar level to something that, some other parameter that's important for quality, in this case, color, we can determine really easily what is the optimal um, moments, the optimal sugar concentration that you would want to harvest at. This is really the question at hand, is how can growers better adapt their, their agricultural uh, management to climate change.